Well, tonight, a neighborhood gearing up for battle. They want to keep tiny homes for homeless veterans out, saying the project will lower their property values. News Force Kaitor K talked to both sides. Kaitor. The city of OKC has invested more than $2 million in the Capitol View neighborhood, which you can see here is just northeast of the Oklahoma State Capitol and right next to the History Center. And tonight, many of the people who live there fear this homeless vet project could hurt the progress that's already been made. I'm not against homeless veterans, but it's not a good fit for this neighborhood. Pete Cooper summarizing how he and much of the Capitol View community feel about a proposed homeless veterans housing project in their neighborhood. The land at Northeast 28th Street in Phillips has already been purchased by Kansas City nonprofit Veterans Community Project, who want to build 35 tiny homes there. There's uh, well over 100 homeless veterans right now uh, on the streets in Oklahoma City um, and we are eager to accept the invitation of community leaders there in Oklahoma City and, and help house these people who served our country. But some residents call this a gamble for the area's property value, remembering an unsafe time of gangs and drugs that's been largely reversed by investment from the city of Oklahoma City. Now this community is thriving, is healthy, and to just take a risk of what impact does this could have on the community? I don't think it's fair to the residents. While those of the community would prefer the land be turned into a park, VCP's Jason Kander says Capitol View's proximity to public transit in a VA center make it a perfect location for their tiny homes village, and he's doing his best to convince residents of the benefits. Uh, so it is, it is a big part of what we do is build something that is so attractive that it enhances the value of the community around it. I would have to say I had to see it before I, I could believe it. Next month will be very telling of the project's future as VCP has meetings with a Citizens Advisory Committee and a State Zoning Commission. We know you